This is Twit. All right, Nate's picks. I know everyone's wondering what your favorite apps are. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, there's a ton of apps that I use. Um, I guess I'm an app happy guy or whatever. <laughs> but uh, the stuff that I've really been into a lot lately has been some games. Um, and uh, should I start there? Yeah, sure. So um, not too long ago, this game called Old Man's Journey came out. And uh, I think this is just a beautiful game. It's fairly simple, but basically you can kind of control the world by moving different hills to, to get your, your old man traveler here where you want him to. Um, and uh, it's, it's, uh, the, the art style is, is, is gorgeous. I do kind of feel bad because at times, let's see if I can get him up here. I have to... <laughs> I have to get the old man around by literally throwing him down waterfalls, and you're gonna see that right now. Does he know how to swim? He he just kind of slips and slides through. <laughs> so let's see if I can get him here. So I just kind of pull that hill up, and then oh yeah, I can crank this bridge across, and then I'm gonna get my buddy over here. And so um, the music is 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 great in this game as well, uh, and. Um, the art style has like a really cool, like kind of mixed media watercolorish, you know, pastel kind of feel to it. Kind of the sort of thing that you might see from kind of some of the children's books that I that I read, you know, back in the the 80s and 90s. And here you're gonna see him fall down the waterfall. Yeah. Um, but he handles it. He's he's a tough he's a tough old guy. Um, but throughout different parts of the game, um, there are different scenes and different people he can interact with. Um, and then there are even things that will trigger. Uh, a flashbacks. Now, I don't want to give any spoilers here, um, but a lot of the, the the flashbacks that he has had in seeing uh, some of these different uh, things do have to do with what looks like a, a, a long lost uh, love, maybe, or maybe a friend that he's going to see. It's not 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 totally clear, you know, like where the story's going. But um, it's a really beautiful game and one that I highly encourage. It's a calm game. It's not the sort of you know, if you, it's not like, you know, Call of Duty on your phone or, or it's not even as fast and as active as, say, you know, Super Mario Run or something. But um, it actually kind of reminds me of Monument Valley in the sense that it's slow, beautiful music, and kind of you can go on your own pace uh, and, you know, built around puzzles as well. I like how, uh, you know, it, it features an older character. It's yeah. Good, good, no age discrimination there. Yeah, no age discrimination. And, uh, and yeah, it's, it's, it's nice to see some diversity in, in that regard as well. It's four ninety nine. dollars is is four ninety nine. I think it's worth, worth the five bucks that you get. You know, it's, it's, if this were the sort of thing that were on a console, it'd be 20 or 30 bucks, I'm sure. Um, but, uh, but here it is, and, and it's both on the iPhone or the iPad. I should explain. Here's that uh, picture that you sent me <laughs> of me in that crazy Snapchat filter. So in case you're wondering what's on my phone, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, old, old, old Man's Journey is, is fantastic. Um, it looks good on that screen too. Yeah, yeah, on this big iPad uh, uh, display. And then, um, uh, you know, it just came out, but Monument Valley was one of my very favorite games, period much less on iOS devices. And now Monument Valley 2 uh, is here on uh, on the iPhone. So we literally, both of us, mm -hmm. downloaded it during the keynote. Sorry to take our attention away, uh, Tim. But uh, <laughs> but we actually, it's fi it's also five bucks, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's, it's hard to say. Will, will I like this one as much as the original? I don't know. I guess maybe it's a little early to say. But genuinely monument valley the first one was a game that i beat maybe like five times i played it on ipads iphones android devices um and an absolutely beautiful and groundbreaking game uh and again kind of more focused on the visual taking your time with it um a silent character uh as well um i'm super excited to play this and the first one was definitely worth the money i'm excited to see us two games uh the company behind it back and um, I think this one will be worth it as well. I like that you can you don't have to buy it for the iPhone and the iPad. Like if you buy it on one, you can use it on both. Exactly. So you played it. You played the first one through three or four times. Cause I didn't. I loved it when I played it through the first. At time. least I might have. I don't know. I lost count really. Cause I I played it. I've played it on the iPhone maybe that many times. I've played it on the iPad a couple times. So I want to see it on the larger display. And then you know from time to time we review Android devices and I've played it on on that too. Was it? But is it a different? game or no. you just you forgot I just really <laughs> like it I just really You're like, like I'm it. really good at this no it's now. great well they had they had an expansion that came oh, later okay. called um the hidden shores mm -hmm. and then there was a special level that came through project
Project Red. So if you bought that level, I think it was like a dollar or two, uh, they'd give some some money to oh. to AIDS research and in uh, looking for a cure for AIDS. So um, it's a uh, I'll go back to my home screen so it can be a little <laughs> quiet there. But it's it's just a really beautiful game, and I, I really enjoy playing. The puzzles are simple, um, but the music's very serene. It's very calming. You know, I, I like to get in there and uh, actually, you know. Um, have a challenging game like Zelda on my Switch or, you know, um, a racing simulator like Forza on my Xbox or, you know, something like Battlefield on my PlayStation. But those are high intensity games. Um, and it's nice every once in a while to have something that's a little different, a little bit more calming. So if you think of like the difference between going and seeing an um, an action blockbuster like the Fast and the Furious in theaters versus seeing like Moonlight. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. you know, a different different tone, different um, mood, different experience. Uh, and to me, games are just as exciting as important of an art form as films or books or anything else. And and so Monument Valley was just one I went to again and again because it was just such a beautiful, um, albeit brief experience. So, you know. For me, Monument Valley 2 has got a, a lot to live up to, but um, the expansions were really great for the first title, and uh, I'm super stoked to play Monument Valley 2. That was one that they showed off when they were uh, showing off the new app store, and because yeah. you could read about the developers, yeah. and because that is something that I actually went and did after you know after playing Monument Valley, yeah. I was like, who are these guys? I yeah. want to know more about them. So in that sense, I could understand. I wouldn't say it, that it gives the app store better discoverability in terms of <laughs> apps, but in terms of saying like, why would I want to pay for four ninety nine? Mm -hmm. And then you think, okay, look, these are artists, and here's what they've done in the past, yeah. and they're definitely worth my five dollars yeah i haven't read that story we don't have the new app store i mm -hmm. think that's coming out with ios mm -hmm. 11 i'm not sure which is this fall but us two is a fascinating company mm -hmm. they make uh, uh a lot of the stuff that you see with google's vr mm -hmm. they they're you know doing like the the visual design for a lot of that they're making apps for big companies i think like ford and others but then they also have worked on um, like this this open source project uh, to help people um, who can't see like get around in public spaces uh, across different apps and all sorts of things like that. They're a mixture of artists uh, and folks who are making corporate marketing stuff, but also, um, you know, social good type things too. Mm -hmm. So a super fascinating company. Us two is really, really interesting. Um, but definitely for most people, what you know them for is Monument Valley. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I guess I'll name one more game and then I'll save Detour the, uh, for the app cap. Uh, or should you, I do which, Detour the now? App the app cap is your very favorite. So Ooh. you told me that your the other game was your very favorite. But if it's Detour so is... I'm, I'm going I'm, I'm to save Detour because I feel like Detour is my favorite new thing. Okay. And okay. Uh, one of my favorite games, this is a favorite too, uh, <laughs> is uh, Steven Universe Attack the Light. Uh, and it is a game that you can play on your iPad, your iPhone. I've been playing it uh, lately again for like a second time on on my uh, Apple TV. And so the Steven Universe is a cartoon for kids, but a lot of adults, myself included, really like this game. Um, and basically you have uh, these different characters here. Uh, uh, this is uh, Steven. And it's an RPG. You just kind of like uh, move through the different uh, levels here. Uh, and then when you encounter bad guys, it's a turn-based RPG. Um, so you go into battle and then you just select which character you uh, want to choose first. And then you choose an attack on a bad guy and you just kind of take turns. So if you've played something like uh, Final Fantasy or RPGs like that on a console, um, the way that this game works will be pretty similar. Or even like Paper Mario um, on, on the Nintendo series uh, or Nintendo consoles. Um, now, one of the reasons why I'm calling this one out, it's been out for a while, is a sequel to this uh, is actually coming and it will be available for consoles. So you'll be able to play it on your PlayStations or I think the, the Nintendo Switch as well. Um, not totally sure, um, but uh, it's, uh, it's a great game. So if you haven't heard of it and if, if you're looking for kind of a lightweight RPG style game that you can play on the go, kind of in bits and pieces throughout your day, or if you actually want to sit down um, on your couch and and get a Bluetooth controller you can play this on your Apple TV as though it were a console it's a really fun uh, uh, game and with a really charming art style um, and you know uh, if you're an adult or kid who happens to like the Steven Universe uh, cartoon series uh, then uh, then you'll definitely be into this too what controller do you use with your Apple TV I have one made by a company called Steelcase 
Um, and it actually has charging from the lightning port. Mm. Uh, so is it the Nimbus or is that something else? Uh, I don't think it's called the Nimbus. Um, I forget actually. I think the Nimbus was an earlier version of that sort of mm. thing that would work with uh, iPads and iPhones. But uh, uh, we should, you know, fact check that or let me see if I can if I can find it. Um, but um, but you can use your iPhone too, right, or your iPad. Uh, yeah, if you're using your iPhone or your iPad, then it's, it's touch screen. I, you know, there might be some controls for the, for the actual touch display remote. Um, but I, uh, I haven't tried that cause I have this controller. A steel case. Yeah. And it works. Yeah. It's really great. Um, yeah, I think you're right. I think it is called the Nimbus. I'm looking it up here and, uh, let's see if I can find it. Yeah, this is the one. So it's 50 okay. bucks. It's not cheap. Uh, but yeah, this is the one that I have. And if you're used to an Xbox controller or a PlayStation controller, you'll feel right at home with this. Uh, the battery life is fantastic. I think I've, you know, it takes like every few months for me to charge it. And you and just it, charge it with lightning mm -hmm. cable. Yeah, it's the same thing that you charge your iPhone or iPad with. Uh, and uh, it's, it's pretty fantastic. Yeah, so that is uh, Steven Universe Attack the Light.